projects. In this video, we are going to explain about the project title EFM Net, an essential feature mining network for target fine grain classification in optimal remote sensing images. Introduction Remote sensing images often pose challenges in distinguishing fine grain categories due to their high similarity and the presence of diverse samples. This project aims to tackle these difficulties inherent in these images. The project introduces EFM Net, a specialized network composed of two main components, the miner and the refiner. This architecture is specifically designed for fine grain classification tasks. The miner's primary function is to extract essential features necessary for accurate classification. It utilizes advanced methods like Connex, an architecture known for its effectiveness in feature extraction and introduces novel techniques like BPP, bilinear polymerization pooling. Meanwhile, the refiner complements this process by ensuring feature stability through adaptive data augmentation during training. Within the miner, Connex and the multiple hierarchies attention module, MHAM, work together to extract both intrinsic features, core details within the image, and attention features, crucial parts emphasized for classification. These components collaborate with BPP to create a high-level essential feature vector that encapsulates discriminative information for accurate classification. The refiner component plays a pivotal role in enhancing feature stability during training. It achieves this by generating augmented samples based on the information derived from the miner. This process mitigates issues arising from limited sample categories, improving the network's ability to extract robot features. The project showcases the effectiveness of EFM Net through comprehensive testing on both self-created and publicly available datasets. The results demonstrate the network's competitive performance in fine grain classification tasks with an optimal remote sensing images affirming its efficacy and robustness in this domain. Objective. The primary goal of the project is to tackle the challenge of fine grain classification in remote sensing images. It aims to overcome this challenge by leveraging deep convolutional neural networks, DCNNs, to learn and extract the most discriminative features from these images. The focus is on differentiating between highly similar instances within the images. The project introduces an innovative network called Essential Feature Mining Network, EFMNet. EFMNet is designed to specifically extract essential features from the targets in these images, aiming for a level of granularity that enables the differentiation between similar instances. The goal is to pinpoint and emphasize the key characteristics that distinguish one target from another. EFMNet is composed of two essential modules. The minus module primary function is to refine and purify these essential features. It accomplishes this by utilizing Connex, a specialized architecture for efficient feature extraction, coupled with the multi hierarchies attention module MHAM to focus on crucial details. Additionally, the feature bilinear polymerization pooling BPP method is employed to further enhance these features. The refiner, on the other hand, performs data augmentation, generating additional diverse data samples to improve the network's performance. The project assesses and evaluates the performance of EFM net using established public fine grain classification datasets in the remote sensing domain. It compares the results achieved by EFMNet with existing methods or alternatives. The aim is to demonstrate the superior performance and efficacy of the proposed EFMNet over these existing techniques in accurately classifying fine grain targets within remote sensing images. Software and hardware requirements. Software requirements of the project are Software is Anaconda, primary language is Python, front-end framework is Flask, back-end framework is Jupyter Notebook, database is SQLite 3, front-end technologies used in the project are HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Bootstrap 4. Hardware requirements of the project are operating system of Windows, processor of Wi-Fi and above, 
ram of 8 gb and above hard disk of 25 gb and above working modules of flow of work to implement this project we have designed the following modules the first module is importing the packages this step involves importing necessary libraries and packages required for the project such as tensorflow keras numpy and possibly other libraries used for data handling image processing model building and evaluation exploring the data set aircraft data This section involves exploring the data set specific to aircraft images. It encompasses activities like loading the data set, inspecting its structure, understanding the labels and gaining insights into the images and their associated metadata. Detection from RoboFlow. This refers to using RoboFlow, a platform for managing and annotating image data sets. It involves assessing pre-processed or annotated data from roboflow which includes labeled regions of interest or object detection annotations for aircraft within images image processing using image data generator utilizing keras image data generator to perform real time data augmentation which involves applying various transformations to the images to increase the diversity and size of the training data set rescaling the image shear transformation zooming the image and horizontal flip these are different image augmentation techniques applied to enhance the data set rescaling ensures consistency in pixel values shear transformation distorts the images zooming alters the image scale and horizontal flipping creates mirrored versions of images reshaping the image reshaping refers to adjusting the dimensions of the images to a standard size or format required for input to the neural network torch vision based processing for detection This involves using PyTorch Torch Vision library for specific image processing techniques or transformations needed for object detection task. It includes operations like resizing, normalization, or transforming images to match the input requirements of the object detection model. Building the model. This module involves the creation and design of the neural network model for fine-grained classification. It includes defining the architecture, selecting layers such as convolutional layers, pooling layers, etc., configuring hyperparameters, and compiling the model for training. The model architecture is crucial for EFMNet's core objective: extracting essential features for fine-grained classification in optimal remote sensing images. Training the model. This stage involves. feeding the prepared data set into the efm net model for training it includes iterations where the model learns to extract essential features from the input images adjusting its internal parameters to minimize prediction errors and improve accuracy based on labeled data flash stream work with sqlite for sign up and sign in this module integrates the flash framework a web development framework in python along with sqlite a lightweight relational database management system it implements user authentication functionalities such as sign up user registration and sign in user login mechanism using flask for user management and sqlite for storing user credentials securely user upload an image for analysis this part involves the front end aspect where users interact with the system Users can upload images they want to analyze for fine-grained classification. This functionality allows users to submit images to the system for classification using the trained model. The given input is pre-processed. Upon receiving the user uploaded image, the system pre-processes the input image to make it compatible with the trained model. This involves resizing, normalization. or any other required pre-processing steps to ensure that the image conforms to the model's input requirements the trained model is used for predicting the result the pre-processed image is fed into the trained efm net model the model leverages its learned parameters and feature extraction capabilities to predict the class or category of the target within the image 
the model's prediction provides the classification outcome based on the image analysis final outcome is displayed through front end finally the classification result obtained from the model prediction is displayed to the user through the front end interface this includes showing the predicted class label relevant information about the classified target and visual representation or statistical details conveying the analysis outcome algorithms used to implement this project we have utilized the following algorithms for classification we have used the following algorithms the first one is efm net torch based model this refers to a custom or tailored model designed using the pytorch framework specifically for the project's objectives it combines elements from various architectures or incorporates unique features customized to the fine grain classification task the design involves intricate adjustments in layer configurations activation functions or novel architectural components to enhance feature extraction capabilities resnet 50 resnet 50 is a variant of the resnet residual network architecture featuring 50 layers its key innovation lies in residual connections or skip connections these connections enable the network to skip some layers elevating the vanishing gradient problem and allowing for easier training of deeper networks resnet 50 excels in capturing detailed and hierarchical features from images due to its depth vgg 16 vgg 16 is a deep convolutional neural network known for its uniform architecture it consists of 16 layers primarily organized in a series of convolutional layers followed by pooling layers and fully connected layers vgg 16 is characterized by its simplicity using small 3 to 3 convolutional filters across multiple layers which helps in learning rich and detailed features from images cnn convolutional neural network cnn is a foundational architecture for image processing task it consists of convolutional layers pooling layers and fully connected layers convolutional layers apply filters to the input image extracting local features pooling layers down sample the features reducing computational complexity cnns effectively learn hierarchical representations of image data capturing spatial relationships and patterns dcnn deep convolutional neural network DCNNs are extension of CNNs generally referring to deeper and more complex networks these architectures use multiple convolutional layers often with more sophisticated designs to capture highly abstract and intricate features from images DCNNs excel in learning complex patterns in representations making them suitable for challenging image analysis task densenet densenet or dense convolutional network introduces dense connections between layers in a densenet architecture each layer receives direct input from all preceding layers this dense connectivity fosters feature reuse enhances gradient flow and encourages feature propagation across different depths enabling the network to efficiently learn features at various scales and abstraction levels inception v3 Inception V3 is a part of the Inception architecture series developed by Google. It utilizes a multi-branch architecture with parallel convolutional pathways of different receptive field size. These pathways capture features at various scales and resolutions, allowing the network to effectively extract diverse and multi-scale features from images, which is particularly useful for recognizing fine-grained details. as an extension we used other deep learning models to produce a more robust and accurate final prediction and we also utilized yolo family for detection comparison graphs comparison graphs offer a visual breakdown of how a model performs across essential evaluation metrics models are compared with the parameters accuracy precision recall and fn score this is the accuracy comparison graph on the x axis we have accuracy score and on the y axis we have algorithm name accuracy is a measure of the overall correctness of a classification model it calculates the ratio of correctly predicted instances both true positives and true negatives to the total number of instances 
this is the precision comparison graph on the x axis we have precision score and on the y axis we have algorithm name precision is a metric that assesses the accuracy of positive predictions made by the model it calculates the ratio of true positives correctly predicted positive instances to the total number of positive predictions true positives plus false positives this is the recall comparison graph on the x axis we have recall score and on the y axis we have algorithm name Recall, also known as sensitivity or true positive rate, measures the model's ability to correctly identify all relevant instances in the data set. It calculates the ratio of true positives to the total number of actual positive instances, true positives plus false negatives. This is the FN comparison graph. On the x-axis, we have FN score and on the y-axis, we have algorithm name. FN score is the harmonic mean of precision and recall. It is a balanced measure that considers both false positives and false negatives. It is calculated as two times the product of precision and recall divided by the sum of precision and recall. It provides a single metric that balances precision and recall, making it useful when we want to consider both false positives and false negatives in the evaluation. The algorithm, which is performing best in all performance metrics, will be used for prediction. Execution. To execute this project, first we need to open the code folder which contains the project source code files. This is the code folder. This is the static folder. This folder consists of files related to CSS, JavaScript and Bootstrap. This is the templates folder. This folder contains all the HTML pages used in the project. It typically includes files like index.html, about.html and more which represent different pages of the website. This is app.py file. This .py file contains the information related to front-end logic. It includes code written in Python that handles server-side operations such as processing user requests, interacting with the database and generating dynamic content to be rendered in the HTML templates. This is notebook.ipynb file. This is a Jupyter notebook file which contains a combination of code, graphs and outputs all in one place. It allows users to write and execute code in individual cells, making it a popular choice for data science. This is signup.db file. This file is the database file used to store user information. First, we need to copy the path of the code folder from the address bar of the file explorer. So here I'm copying the path. Now open the anaconda prompt. Use the cd command followed by a space and paste the copied path and hit enter. This command is used to change the current directory to the code folder's path. Compile the app.py file using the command python space app.py. So here I am typing python space app.py and hit enter. This command will execute the python script and perform a runtime check for any syntax errors or logical issues. After running the app.py file, the Flask framework will host the application locally at the default address. localhost which is this and port which is this now copy this local link provided by the flash framework i'm copying the link and paste this copied link into any web browser i usually prefer google chrome and hit enter the home page of the project is displayed in the browser this is the front end built using flash framework if we are a new user we need to register first so click on register button here so here we need to enter all these details to register, but I have already registered. So click on sign in link here. So here we need to enter the username and the password, which we have registered and then click on sign in. We have logged in successfully. So here we can see a prediction link. We can do the classification as well as the detection. First, we will do the classification. So click on classification. So here we need to upload the image. And after uploading the image, we will predict the type of aircraft. So now click on choose file. Select the image. Now click on open button. Click on upload button. So here, this is the uploaded image and it is predicted as B type aircraft. Let us upload some more images and check the type of the aircraft. Click on try again. Click on choose file. 
Select the image open. Click on upload button. This is the uploaded image and it is predicted as D type aircraft. Let us upload some more images. This is the uploaded image and it is predicted as C1 type aircraft. Click on choose file. Select the image. Click on open. Click on upload button. This is the uploaded image and it is predicted as C2 type aircraft. Let us upload some more images. So click on choose file. Select the image. Open. Click on upload button. This is the uploaded image and it is predicted as E type aircraft. Click on choose file. Select the image. This is the uploaded image and it is predicted as A type aircraft. In this way, just by uploading the aircraft image, we can predict the type of the aircraft. Now we will do the detection. So click on prediction link here and now click on detection. So here we need to upload the image. So click on choose file. Select the image, click on open. Now click on upload button. So here we can see that this aircraft is detected and on top of the aircraft, we can see the type which is 15.0.60. Let us upload some more images. Click on choose file. Open. Click on upload button. So here we can see that the aircraft is detected by a bounding box and on top of the bounding box, we can see the type which is 10.67. Let us upload some more images. Click on choose file. Select the image, open, click on upload button. So here we can see that this aircraft is detected by a orange color bounding box. And on top of the bounding box, we can see the type of the aircraft, which is 10.0.74. In this way, by uploading the image, we can detect the aircraft and the type of the aircraft. Now click on log out button here. The conclusion of the project is. The conclusion highlights how EFM net effectively tackles the challenges posed by fine grain classification in remote sensing images. Despite the high similarity between different classes and the diversity within the data set. EMF net demonstrates its ability to accurately extract essential features necessary for classification. It emphasizes the distinctive contributions of EMF net to the field. This includes its integration of Connext, a powerful feature extraction architecture, the utilization of multiple hierarchies attention module, MHAM for focusing on critical details, the innovative BPP fusion method for enhanced feature representation, and the refiner's role in stabilizing feature extraction during training. The conclusion reiterates the competitive performance of EFM net, which has been validated across various data sets by demonstrating robustness and high performance in fine grain classification with an optimal remote sensing images. EFM net showcases its applicability and effectiveness in handling real world scenarios. It suggests potential avenues for further research and improvement. This includes optimizing network architectures beyond the current state, exploring and utilizing new data sets to expand the model's capabilities, and exploring broader applications in both remote sensing and deep learning domains. This indicates the project's contribution to ongoing advancements and its potential impact on future research directions. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in For updates on latest project videos, 
please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.